<sighs> Today's question is, well, I've uh, been messaged <clears throat> by dozens and dozens of people privately asking me what my thoughts on uh, the 2015 NAS Nationals events are. And as much as I just love to gossip and bitch about Strongman all day, um, it's more productive for me to do other things. So I'll make a video about it, and uh, you can all watch that. Um, first off, I think people get way too bent out of shape about stuff. Are some weird? Yeah, but it's pretty much in line. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not the world, and in CrossFit, the... They don't even get to know what they're doing until about the day before, sometimes about two minutes before they actually do it. So, I guess, uh, they're not as, uh, they're a little bit more hardcore. And people say, oh, well, they don't, you know, well, if I'm going to do something for a max, then I need to know ahead of time. Uh, they do stuff for maxes, they do. There was max deadlifts last year at the games. You should, uh, you know, there's a, I think what, like a snat, or there's like an overhead, max overhead squat, I don't know, there's always max events at CrossFit, the people don't know what they're talking about, and then they just keep talking about what they're talking about, and that's actually pretty much what I'm doing in this video, is pretending I know what I'm talking about, and talking about it over and over, so, um, hopefully, by the magic of actually having to edit my videos, I will put, uh, a screenshot of what the events are at the beginning of this video, but I'm going to break it down event by event. First event is a log clean and press for reps, max reps in 60 seconds. I'm not going to break down each weight for each category because that's really boring, um, but uh, they all look like good weights to me. Um, out of all the events, I'd say this one's a little bit on the heavier side compared to the others. I think that, yeah, the heavyweight is uh, 300, and lightweight men is uh, 250, which that's for a 175-pound guy. And uh, so I think those are really good weights. I don't see too many people getting more than 10 reps, which then I would say that those are really good weights for nationals. And log, clean, and press for reps, max reps in 60 seconds, pretty damn standard strongman event. There's nothing you can do to complain about that. Event 2 is a Conan's carry with a yoke walk. So basically, you're going to be doing a yoke walk holding the crooks of your arms in a zerker position. Um, I think it's, what, 60 feet? And uh, fastest time wins. I think that's a really boring event. <laughs> Um, it depends on, we'll see what the apparatus looks like. I imagine it's just going to be a Beast Metals yoke. But, um, I think that's the kind of event you see at a local level show. Because they don't have all the actual equipment. Like an actual Conan's carry. And I would have much rather seen at a national level event that it's going to be the actual kind of event. And it also looks really light. Unless they expect you to like pick it up from like a full squat or some or something weird, this is I mean it's only four hundred pounds for the heavyweight guys. That's really light. Or if the crossbar is like two feet in diameter or something, that's just and that's I see a lot of logistical problems with that. Um, there was a local unsanctioned event here that did it that had that event and the yoke. Uh, um, feet tend to swing, and with how fast everyone's going to be going, I see a lot of like uh, people falling flat on their face and yokes toppling over. Uh, I don't understand that event at all. Just I just don't understand that event. I would have much rather seen, uh, if you're going to do a front carry, do something that actually looks cool, um, like a Husafelt stone, or do an actual Conan's wheel. That's It just seems like local backyard stuff with that event to me. Uh, farmer's walk, you know, 60, 60 feet, one drop allowed, up to 350 for the heavyweight guys. Uh, again, 
straight shot, standard strongman event. There's nothing to complain about. That's that's a great event. Um, some people were commenting that it was too light, but you have to remember if uh, they're using the Beast Metals Farmers again, that they're actually from a pick you have to deadlift, unlike the Big Dog, which was like a 21-inch pick, and the handles are a little slicker, so they're a lot harder. People, just like the video I made last week, people always confuse. They think that, like, they only look at what the weight of an implement is, and Strongman is odd implements, so there's going to be more variation on what's difficult other than what the actual weight of the implement is. I'd much rather do like 300 pound farmers on a big dog than than like uh, you know 275 farmers on one that has a pick height of 8 inches lower for example. Alright, not much to say. Push-pull medley. It's a giant dumbbell and a one-arm deadlift. You go from one to the other. So basically you do a circus dumbbell then you pick up the deadlift with one arm, and it says it's going to be like a similar to a farmer's handle implement. Um, I don't really understand that event. I think it really, it's going to really, de you can't completely say too much on it until you actually see the implement and exactly how you're going to be able to lift it. Like if you're able to straddle it, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, it's not that I have a problem with a one-arm deadlift. The problem I have is that there's no actual deadlift at a nationals event because a one. So that's basically a pressing event, and you know the dumbbell goes up to 200 for the heavyweight guys, so it's a pretty, you know, good weight. But um, if it's one where you have to do on the side and people are going really fast in between, I see a lot of strained obliques, especially in the heavyweight guys. But I, I think that a national level strongman show should have a real deadlift that's fucking heavy. Bottom line. Um, uh, and then, uh, the, no, this is also the first event on day two. There's three events on day one, two on day two, and the second one is a sandbag load. 75 seconds, load four sandbags onto a platform. Each sandbag's about 30 feet away. Again, I'll, some people comment that's too light, but, uh, after two days of competing, four sandbags going running in between back and forth on each one for 30 feet is fucking exhausting. Um, so I think the weights are fine. And I don't think every, you know, certain like events like that, I don't think they need to be like stupid heavy the whole time. Um, my overall, first off, I want to say the people that are saying it's too light or it's like CrossFit. I think Alana Casey had the best, uh, quote about this if it was like crossfit uh it's not like crossfit it crossfit is a lot harder which i thought was hilarious if this actually if these events were a crossfit event event one through five would all be part of one workout and that'd be the first event you have to do that day you'd have to do uh you know max reps in 60 seconds on a log into a yoke front carry into a farmer's walk etc it's not CrossFit, and I don't think the the yoke zerker looks like it's too light. But again, we don't know exactly how the implement's going to be, so who knows? Um, the log and the dumbbell are right on. The farmers are you know a, a little lighter than past years, but again, if they're using the beast metals farmers, then it's going to be a lot harder, even if it is technically lighter. Um, the, the main thing I don't like that there's no actual deadlift. I think that that's stupid, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like going to California. I don't the show California Strongest Man every year never has a deadlift, and I think that's ridiculous. You should have some sort of pulling, um, some sort of deadlift event in Strongman. Um, I also, when I started doing nationals, there were seven events over two days, and now there's five. Um, there's five events in one day, and I think it's kind of I don't know. I I just don't. I think to decide the national champion, there should be more than five events. Cause it, and then you would have room. Like, you could have six events and one be a circus dumbbell and then have a deadlift. Um, on the push-pull medley, I think something that would be really cool if you were going to combine them is to do a circus dumbbell and do an axle deadlift. Then it's like just like a, you know, like a thick bar medley. 
that's really going to kill people's crypts as well. Um, but again, haven't seen uh, what exactly the apparatus or implement is that they're going to use for the one arm deadlift, so who knows. Um, and uh, what I've noticed is the people that say it's uh, my fucking dogs. The people that say it's too light are the people that uh, I've never seen compete at nationals for the most part, or aren't. So you guys don't know. Um, that's all my thoughts. Have a good one.